short selection of Icelandic films uh, later on. We will be uh, talking to the directors of the short films, so please stick around. I'm Connor Simpson, I'm the director of Leia. And I'm Earl Anders Finson, I'm the writer of Leia. Sturl Oskarsson, Náttrafnar. Eivar Jónsson, Lítlastund Jónsson. Yeah, my name is Arnold Palmi and I'm uh, the producer of Best Friend Forever. Yeah, my name is Sigga and I'm an actress and actor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think absolutely it'd be anywhere. Uh, I was kind of... I'm usually kind of bored with the Icelandic films with their nature pornography and all that <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to make a film that happened in the city and could be you know I mean I live in a city so it's kind of more like my world than a glacier or something like that so I think it could be anywhere yeah I mean it's uh, an American story so. <laughs> Best friends, yeah. somewhere else. Definitely. It's a story about relationship and story about emotions and feelings, and I think that's like a very universal theme. Mm -hmm. Also, um, basically, if you look at, at the film and think about it, nothing really happens. There's no like drama. There's, it's, it's, it's like, I didn't understand when she wrote it, what the fuck are you trying to say? Because there's nothing uh, going on. It was just a message to me, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like a very no, expensive no. message. <laughs> yeah, no, no, so it's... Yeah, yes, so. No, I, I'm just saying it's just a drama between two characters and, and the key set in the snow, you know. You know. Yeah. So... Yeah, um, so we met at Columbia University in New York for a film school, and we knew each other a little bit at the beginning when we started, but for this film, it was part of a project where everybody had to write a script and swap scripts with another director, and so everybody put the scripts they wrote into a pool, and we read them all, and I picked his, and so that was how our real collaboration started after that. So I, I had just moved to New York. I was in my first weeks, I think, at Columbia University where I was studying. And they had this actor showcase. And the guy who ran this organization announced in the beginning that they had separated the crazy actors from the really good ones. And now we have the really good ones for you today. Like that's what he said. And then um, that made me think about all the like who are these crazy actors and like what does he what does he mean and then you know I was thinking about what next show film would be and it sort of started from there I guess it sort of snowballed yeah. this character was very much a collaboration with the actress who played the main character and just talking with her over a couple months about her experiences auditioning for films and what it was like being an actor at her age in New York trying to make it and so it was very much just conversations with the lead actress and just pulling from her real life stories and then taking some creative liberties and exaggerating some and yeah, it was really just from the actress and combination with his script. We just kept going back and forth, the three of us. Well, it started out a lot bigger, I think. We, when we first started creating the character, she was going to be a compulsive liar who never told the truth, and it just she was going to be a stalker at one point, like stalking the director. And so, as it evolved, we just kept taking it away, 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 until we were left with something really small. And then I think that going through that process with the actress, going through the writing process, she was able to see the parts that we were taking away and didn't want to emphasize, so that she was left with something small. And so I think that a lot of that came from came from her and from her being able to see the script in its different forms. And so she was able to get the, I guess, the subtlety or the second level mm -hmm. to her acting that we were looking for. Totally. And I think, you know, one thing that was really interesting to both of us in the beginning was this idea of like a character and creating a character together. Yeah. And from my, my standpoint, I've never worked as much 
on a short script as I did with Leia? Because I think it was about how many drafts did we make? Well, yeah, something like that. Something like 12, 12 yeah. drafts, and they change drastically. And because the idea of watching an actor and you don't know if she's acting or not, and she's preparing for a role, it, there were so many different things to approach. Like, for example, there's the you know uh, gender diversity with actors and what it's like to be an aging actress. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, this idea about what do you have to do to get a role. And so our theme board was huge. But at the end, it was about narrowing it, or boiling it down to what we felt yeah. we wanted, you know, to to say and and what. And for what we were wanting to say, we wanted our approach to be very non-judgmental to her. I think we didn't want to say this is a crazy person, like just watch her as like a spectacle. I think we tried to. I hope it came across. We treat her with respect. We treat her like anybody else, and we wanted to, the audience to understand her. And she's. She's listed as one of the quote unquote crazy actors, but she's really not. And she's just trying like everybody else. And so we wanted to treat her with delicacy and respect. As much as we could. Totally. Yeah, not just make it a spectacle, just watching somebody do weird things. Yeah.